worst, the worst, bitch. I think frail old Christians are the of utmost concern to the, uh, to the revolution. Yeah, I don't know why they're so concerned about old, creepy Christians. Because they have, like, nothing else, dude. Like, they go after the banks. Maybe they, they protest like RBC. Maybe, maybe they ripping do. people off. I don't know. I do. <laughs> because I don't understand why you won't do that. I don't know why you're doing that. Why don't you join the real revolution, man? Yeah, why the real revolution is two jackasses. That was speciesism. The media. What a joke. Well, you prefer. Where's your credentials? You prefer the Young Turks, don't you? For the Young Turks, do you? Media credentials! One doesn't need media credentials to be the media. One need only broadcast objectively. Yeah, let's see you some back room to get some interviews. You don't need a political party to be political. But why don't you guys go down to Wells Fargo and protest? Why don't you go film Wells Fargo? I, I have. Why don't you doing that now? Yeah. What? Why are you doing that now? Why am I doing that right now? Yeah, that's what, you're, that's what you're asking us. Why we're not doing it right now? Why are you? No, you it guys right never do it. What if you? What if you, you do it right you now? Follow us everywhere. You're yeah. not everybody in this world. You, you guys. Why don't you guys go down to RBC World? Why don't you go down to RBC World? Just go to hell. I already have. I already have. No, you have. Yes, I have. With? Yeah, what have you? Recently, you can see it objectively on the channel. Oh, objectively, rationally, objectively. Right. On the you guys the awesome. On, uh, yeah, on Barristers and Banksters' yeah. YouTube page. He's chewing out bankers left and right. That's right, for all their criminal, it's pretty, uh, immoral behavior. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you really stopped the video. I'm doing that right now. Yeah, yeah actually, they've, they've used YouTube to try and pull off the thing. Why are you doing that right now? Because I'll be doing it later. Why aren't you doing it now? Because right now I'm documenting the communists who are funded by them. Communist funded? Why did you go to China? That's correct. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, my Soros check is still working. It's because you're being used as, as just cannon fodder, man. They don't pay you. I know exactly what your organization does. Let's get let's get into the details. So what are what are tell us what it does if we're so wrong. What is your organization doing? I've already stated what it does. No, I didn't know you were sure about it. So interested in your rational analysis. Because it's so different from the way your neuropsychological profile operates. Tell me more. I'm just I'm just wondering where Mr. Scott Vogel is, you know? At least a couple of you know who that is, I guarantee you. Impressive. Yeah, <laughs> he's on camera talking about how he pays uh, homeless dudes to attack Trump supporters, oh, wow. and I've uh, definitely seen him hanging out with a couple of you. Oh, yeah. So, I'm not saying, but I'm saying, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Oh, look, conspiracy theorists. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's an actual conspiracy. Tell me about the what did you say? <laughs> There's no objective evidence that would make me want to talk to you. There's about. objective evidence that Scott Fogel admitted on camera saying that he pays mentally disabled homeless people to attack Trump supporters. Right. He exploited and you guys are buddies guy. with that. You guys are buddies with that, dude. You may not be homeless, but you're certainly mentally unstable. So you can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So you guys, you, you act like you're against the Democrats, but... What do you mean? Are you kink? Are you are you kink shaming? What's that? Are you kink shaming? That's patriarchy, dude. That that's some that's some buzzword. I don't know. That's heteronormative. It's heteronormative. Oh, it is. Oh, feminism is cancer. Feminism is cancer. I'm just making fun of you. You're too slow to catch up on it. It's not funny. Oh, and now you're making fun of people with mental illnesses. I have a mental illness, probably. I mean, hey. We all do. It's, but your organization exploits people who are mentally ill for profit and for political gain. That's that's an act of wickedness, sir. You found us out. Trust me, I'm not the only one that's found you out. Dude, I think I think you need to make uh, make fun of a dude for man spreading. I think there's a guy man spreading on the bus that needs attention, dude. Oh, oh, so you think that that? Why don't you go film that? Film who? I would never, I would never consider. Go do your own thing if you're so concerned about the world. Go do your thing. I think we're all, we're all doing a thing here. We're, we're doing a thing. Obsession with us. Yeah, 
first funny enough. And that was a fair but he always just trying to dox people. Oh yeah? What's your evidence that I've doxed anyone? The last video that you posted, you pointed me out to a proud boy. And he said, that is a person of interest. Yep, you are. Yeah. So you are. You, so with you, are. you, you, are. you are. You are a yes, person of interest. Mm. Right. <laughs> what? What's How is that an admission? Wait, wait. No, the Proud Boys are like conservative. They're fucking conservatives, dude. They're fucking Nazis. Alright, so what other Nazi beliefs? Go. Oh I always thought the Pro Boys were like gay conservatives. Aren't the Pro Boys basically gay conservatives? We always think that like we should just drop everything to have some sort of rational objective debate because they, the uh, we all know. What Proud Boy did I? What what Proud Boy did I? I don't really remember. I don't believe I ever. I I, I said that you were a weirdo, beardo, ginger beard, and the cup nuts. But why don't why you don't want you to do debate? Your own thing? Why are you so obsessed with debating because us? You, you're politically you active. Start a forum and do your own somebody you're there. politically active, but you don't want to describe what politics you want to be active in. That's what I find fascinating. Why are you owned any of that? We are with the industrial <laughs> workers of the world. Okay. You can we look it all up online, buddy. You're anarchist. But that means what order do you want from your anarchy? You do not want order. you all filming us, and because... You give the information that you gather. You put not physically at risk. I don't <laughs> know any Nazis. I've never met them. They're all they up by your fucking your brain. Brain. They're oh, dead. Shit. Nazis are dead. There's a few in Brazil and Switzerland, maybe. <laughs> look in your comment section, man, asshole. You know what a troll is? Come on now. Come on. I, I think the Nazis that are alive probably just live in Switzerland dude, and Brazil. Dude, yeah. Christi what's his name? Christopher Cantwell admitted that he was an FBI informant. Dude, none of these guys are even fucking real, these so-called Nazis. And most of them work for the Fed. They're not even fucking real people. Yeah. They're they're cosplaying just like y'all. Except they get paid with taxpayers' money. And where'd you get that information from? From yeah. their own admissions. Interwebs. Christopher Cantwell admitted to being an FBI informant, most and he doesn't. These people are cosplaying on the dime of the Department of Justice. Uh, they're not real. The they're not real. They're actors. You're like yeah, just like go, acting like go. No, we're supposed to be the penguins. You guys are like Don Quixotes. <laughs> One real Nazi uh, working to be self-sufficient asks. What, what, what's one real Nazi? Yeah, name a Nazi for us. Why are you always owed a debate? Fuck because off. you said there's Nazis. <laughs> I'm requesting. I'm not. Nobody needs to answer your dumb ass. What is this? What, what? What is this assumption that I feel entitled? Any? I'm just asking. Tell me this. Oh, male, male entitlement. Male entitlement. Think your whole ideology is, is just based on nonsense. Is that of the Christians you see as your opposition? So fuck off. But I'm not a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> so then why do why do like I don't know taxpayers <laughs> owe abortions? Why, yeah, why, why do taxpayers Sorry. owe abortions? Good question. <laughs> what why in the <laughs> absence you about your dumb ass opinions? So th this isn't you about on your YouTube page and tell the fucking you know fifty followers you have. He has like nineteen thousand. <laughs> Yeah. We insult the follower count. It's like, you know, he can't win at a dick size measuring contest. He has to go with the follower count, I guess. I, I guess so. Little shriveled fucking beta Antifa dick. Yeah, I know. Have so an ass. Small penis that he has to lie about your subscriber level. But also, if you stand around, like, talking shit about men, I guess, you're also a douchebag. That's what these guys do. Let's hear about how masculinity is the root of all evil. Let's hear about that. Toxic masculinity. Let's, see, let's hear about how that's a... I think we have a display of toxic femininity going on right here. For our, they have very low levels of testosterone. For our 70... It's like this notion, like, I don't consent to be filmed in a public spot. That's pretty funny, dude. Well, bankers get upset when you film them in their own spot while they're filming you, and then you post what they said on the internet. Then they have it flagged. There's this menacing little posturing dance he's doing, walking behind us. See what he's doing? Keeping his fashion cues from the squatting spot. Swapping Slav TV. What? He, he looks to Vancouver's Serbian community for his outfits. 
I think it's really funny how like these radicals they they see obvious like characters and actors like Milo for instance. Right. Obviously, he's a cartoon character. They think that like Hitler has been resurrected because they're stupid. Like, like what? <laughs> I think I think I think you don't really understand how low IQ functions. Christian fascists. They left. Yeah. They went away. You won. I don't think it's declared victory. Christian fascists go away. Why are you covering your face not? Why are you covering it not? Does make any sense? He was uncovered earlier. He's buddy buddy with the cops, I guarantee you, in some capacity. I guarantee you. But in what capacity? In what capacity? Some sort of like bolshy Stalinist gulag capacity. I don't know. So you're saying that the Milwaukee Police Department <laughs> under the Tom Barrett, sort of Ed Flynn Democratic Party era, is aligned with the Antifist IWW Wobbly community? I think, well, I think we have plenty of examples of them turning the blind eye, at least. Berkeley is a prime example. Yes, okay, fine. Berkeley, I mean, I was fucking there. So what do you guys think about the cops being ordered to stand down in Berkeley last, last spring? Cops quite clearly siding with with marauding gangs with masked street vigilante communists. What do you what do you, I mean? Like, how could you even argue that your worldview is not in some way hegemonic? You know, like it, it, in some spheres, like Berkeley, it's all them. It's all them. In Milwaukee, it appears to be all them too. It, it seems as if. The Milwaukee Police Association Union Easter culture, and these guys are kind of linked by some sort of adhesive. Very disturbing. <laughs> so, uh, Milwaukee police as well as the Berkeley police have become like an NKVD like radical leftist commie cop organization. Well then, why why do cops tend to support Republicans all the time? Because I think they, maybe they play both sides. Maybe they buy off Republican politicians with their collective bargaining union dues so that they don't do anything. And then uh, their allegiances, at least to their hierarchy or to the radical left or just the institutional democratic uh, bankster left. They just play all the sides off. It's like uh, the insurance companies do. They contribute to everybody's campaign. It's the same thing in exchange for having their fife done. It's the problem with uh, American democracy. I think uh, <coughs> de Tocqueville wrote about it in the 1840s. Life. That's a lot. You don't care if people die. Life. Oh, I'm hungry, man. It's good. Subscribe, bitch.